Hello, it's Sandy again from Fairytale Daydreams um, for SpectrumNoir.com um, and we're going to be looking today at a brand new product from Spectrum Noir, so new that we've only just had them to play with. So we're going to have a go with the Spectrum Noir Sparkles, brand new glitter brush pens um, and they've got a really, really high quality brush on them. Um, they come in either packs of three or in this case it's a, this is a 12 pack so it comes in this really sturdy case as you can see um, and yours will be full because I've took some out um, but it then means that you can sit with it sit with it on your desk so it's a really really good way to store them keeps them all neat and tidy um, and has your colours on the back. This is the um, spring summer set that we're going to be um, playing with today um, and I've already sketched out some colours for you um, so we're going to be using the soft jade, the moonstone just there and the blue topaz. I'm hoping that the camera can see them sparkling. Should we... Uh... Yeah, got sparkle um, and then we're going to be mixing them in with um, some of the Spectrum Aquas because I'm going to use the watercolour card today. Um, and we're probably going to be using the lime, the moss, the leaf green and the heather depending on how I feel as we go along. So you may not be able to see the sparkle straight off. You may have to um, wait until I lift the card up the piece of paper off the map but I'm hoping that you can see now the first thing you need to do is you need to give them a, a bit of a shake to wake up the glitters um, and mix them equally within the fluid of the pen um, you won't need to do lots of um, violent motions with them just some nice easy ones so that you can get get it running when you first get these you must um, make sure that you do that and squeeze them slightly to get them going um, and there's, they come with a yellow seal um, but, but there will be full instructions with your pack so I'm hoping now that you can see that shimmering yeah you got that so there we go so you can see see that shimmering on Brilliant, okay, so right, so now this is the soft jade, so we're going to go in with the soft jade um, and I'm going to use it direct to, you know, I've got a piece of A6 watercolour card, Crafters Companion watercolour as you know that's the one I love using and I've taped it down um, with just some low tap masking tape leaving, so it's covering of about a centimetre, that makes it easier for me to sort out later. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just sweep mine across um, because I'm making a rough landscape. So this is this is the, the hill in the middle. So we're getting lots and lots of sparkle. I'm just going to squeeze mine a little bit more. There you go. You can see now I've got all that intense, intense glitter you won't need to do that. I'm doing that because I want a large coverage um, and I want it all over and nice and juicy because I want to mix it in with the Spectrum Aquas. Okay, so there you go. But as you've seen, without squeezing, you can. they are very, very juicy and will paint very, very nicely, as you can see. But I want a really, really intense. They are water coloured, they are water based, so they mix with your Spectrum Aquas really well. So now I'm going to get some water and some kitchen towel. Um, so I've got my flat, flat brush, which you know by now is the one I love, and I'm just going to start bringing, bringing that out. So I'm just dispersing and spreading. Oh, that sparkle out around the edges. So we've now got a sparkly, very rough, but sparkly start of our landscape. Okay, I'm leaving as much intense sparkle as I can in the middle. And then we're going to take um, the moss from our Spectrum Aquas 
um, and we're going to run down the sides of our piece um, and we're just going to start bringing that in with a damp brush and I'm just, I've got a um, tissue in my hand that, so I'm just got some specks of dirt on there let's take that off oh, so, so some specks on my uh, so we're just going to, again, I'm going to run that down in fact I'm going to, let's just pick it up off the board so just run it down and we'll bring that in so that we've got that darker colour in coming in from the sides and those of you who have followed my last landscaping you just sort of have to bear with me because this will all come together as I start to put in the rest of the landscape as with most watercolour paintings they do take a little bit of time to come through so you're starting to disperse some of that sparkle and want it darker across the bottom because that's our foreground so we're going to focus in and you'll see I'm going to come around in sort of a triangle now and what I'm going to do is I'm just, just doing strokes across just bringing the two colours together just with some little strokes so hopefully you've got that. So we've gone with the intense sparkle in the centre and then we've used our moss to bring down the sides and um, it's really hard to see with the masking tape but we've gone down the sides and then we've started to bring it up from the bottle, bottom and then we just went in with our flat brush and we just brought, started to bring some of that colour across our landscape. Okay, right. So now we're going to go with our night sky. So we're going to go with some heather, which is the, the um, a gorgeous bluey purple. Um, and I'm going to put that across the top and I'm going to put a little bit on my mat in case I need a bit more. Um, I like getting the intense effect um, from, I'm going to use my slightly bigger flat brush. Um, I like direct to paper to start with because it lets me have that dark edge that I like playing with and then go in and stipple that dark edge and then we're just going to grab some more some more of that colour and we're just going to come down with it so that we're fading out as we come down fade it out as we come down and it will all make sense in a sec. Some more at the top and fade it out as we come down to start meeting that green. Okay, and there we go. So there's the top of our sky um, because I want it to be a little bit fantasy and I promised I'd keep this video short. So I've now got the um, this blue topaz from the sparkles um, and mine was already activated from when I was playing with it earlier so and I'm just going to come across roughly across my um, the edge of my landscape and just get a little bit going in there um, and then I'm going to go back to my um, smaller of the flat brushes which is already wet so and I'm just gonna just gonna stop dragging that across so we're dragging out the colour um, like we did before on our landscapes for snowy Christmas landscapes so we're getting that horizon of darker sparkle going on just there um, there we go so that's really intense shimmer and then we're going to grab our other one of our blues which is this one it's moonstone of the sh of the shimmers of the sparkles rather um, and I'm gonna come in and you'll see now that this is really just roughly taking it across nice because I'm watercoloring with them so I've got a nice damp brush and I'm just gonna start moving that around 
so we've got an intense colour and then I'm going to start to wet my brush again but start to now bring bring that out only taking from the very top because I want to leave the intense shimmer and just start bringing that up to meet with our purple there we go and hopefully that made sense so we're going to go back in with our moonstone and we're going to um, put it on the mat this time because I've already got the paper wet so I don't want to go on top in case it picks up some of that water um, because these are a water based formulation um, you can't add you can't dip the end into water because if you do it could upset obviously it will water it could be taken back up into the pen um, and affect the formulation of what you've got in your pen so I've used it on the mat just to pick up a bit more of that sparkle so we haven't got sparkle right at the top and we've got sparkle coming down and we've got this kind of stormy edge just along there which is exactly what we want now I'm going to use my um, wet tissue that I've been wiping my um, paintbrush on and I'm just going to go in and I'm just sort of dabbing the colour into the mat really just so I can get um, a different shaped edge there you go and that sort of puts our disruptions which are our clouds coming across um, just with our really damp thing okay right now so now we want to add some sort of disturbances down the front just just to start our quickly um, and I'm going to go back with um, the soft jade green um, and I'm going to put some starting at where we said before we've got this sort of horizon line so I'm just going to put some quick flicks um, just to give it a little this piece has dried um, which is why I'm okay to go straight in so I'm just going to do a couple of little flicks doesn't doesn't really matter um, so you just you're just sort of disturbing um, just to give it a little bit of life just disturbing this background that we went over last time um, you can do yours however however you want to um, and I'm going to go back in with the Moss um, Spectrum Aqua because um, this is now dry here so now I can go in and just put in some really really rough grasses and it really is just a flicking motion so you sort of hold it hold quite close to the end um, and you flick up um, using letting the brush lift off as you go up um, and you'll be able to see that you quite quickly and easily form I'm going to be in a bit of a shadow trying to do this side um, so just bear with me a sec there we go so very easily and quickly you can build up atmosphere here without having to buy um, stamps um, or you could stamp on using um, any of the grass stamps that you may have but I do like showing that you can with just one set really you can get that look without having to buy a ton of other stuff to go with the stuff sort of like that back to basics kind of thing going on so there we go so you can now see that I've got those sort of grassy bits going on um, and come in a little bit just so you've got a couple that aren't on the edge and they're quite dark um, they're in the moss so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go with my with our darker one that was the moss I'm going to go with our darker one which is the leaf green um, and again we are working on a dry surface um, just to add another colour into the gaps and just come across so that we're just framing that picture 
so that hopefully it will show some atmosphere here. Um, and it's really there's no real skill. We really are just flicking. Um, because I think that's, again, as I said, that's, that's sort of what I wanted to achieve with um, sort of certainly the first few of these um, video tutorials that I do is, the, is to sort of show that it, it doesn't need to be um, anything mega fancy um, that, you, that you buy and you could do this with, you know, the freebies off your magazines. Um, and that's exactly what I've got. I had a fairy stamp set from um, a magazine. Um, so I'm just going to add now some background. Um, so I, I use one of these sponge stamping plates um, because I've got real problems with my hands um, and gripping onto things. Um, and this is VersaFine um, because my iCarvel Arc, Arc, Ivel ink pad I've just checked and it's not very juicy. So... Um, so we're going to go with the black um, and then we're just going to go on the edges and one that this gives me so I haven't got to hold it and hover it um, and we're going to hopefully get a full impression yeah there you go um, and we're just going to re-stamp a couple of times um, coming in off an, an angle there we go um, just re-stamp again over here um, we'll come in like that um, and you'll start to see that the colouring the colours that we put on underneath really are now showing that there's something behind um, these stamps as I said these were a magazine freebies that there's no no big purchases involved here so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to move it over slightly and do a second impression so I've got a shaded shaded one going on um, and I will clean that in a sec um, as you can see I get black all over my board because of my hands but uh, it's just sort of showing that we all have the same problems um, and so I'm going to put the fairy on um, again, I just again you've used whatever block um, you've got, and um, there are a lot of fairy stamps out there. So you choose whichever one is your particular favourite. So I'm just I'm just inking her up, um, and she's right in the foreground because I chose a, a, a really big fairy. That's why I chose this set um, of magazine freebies. Um, because it shows um, how sparkly so I'm just going to go over the top so I want to sort I'm, I'm having her off to one side because I'm not big into centering but I don't want her across the whole piece of paper um, but she's right in our foreground and I want her coming off so there we go so I'm going to do that and last time I stamped her in practice she didn't have a head because I forgot to press down on her head so I'll try not to do that and hopefully there you go, almost. <laughs> I almost got her. And the brilliant thing about this is that I can, because it's clear, I can line mine back up and get the bit I missed, hopefully. Almost. If I pressed the right bit, it would have gone. Um, try and remember where the bit that missed was. It was sort of up around there. Let's try that. There you go, there she's much better now. Um, and I'll clean that off in a sec. So what we've got is we've now got our um, sky, we've got our um, thing landscape coming in, um, and the, and because it is watercolor, now what we can do is we can if you don't if there's bits that need watering down um, underneath where her wings are because I've stamped her in a permanent ink I can now go back in and manipulate any of this um, of the colour from the 
aqua markers and just take that out from behind her wings there so that I've got a, a little there you go that, that's better now her wings shine a little bit more um, and now because this is totally dry um, I'm just gonna dry off those wings a little bit more because I don't want to go in with my sparkle until the wings are dry. Um, I've got the clear from the set. You get two clears in both of the 12 sets because obviously the clear may be the one that people use the most um, because obviously you can go over the top of um, any other medium. Um, I've already tried mine over um, Spectrum Noir markers um, and it's absolutely gorgeous um, and you'll probably be able to see there you've got a really intense shimmer now it's not picking the camera's just not picking it up but so i'm going to go in and go over this is mine is dry and um, you must make sure that your watercolor paper is dry before you go over the top um, so that you don't affect the formulation of your pen so i'm just just wiping it off onto um, my scrap piece of watercolour card um, just to get any colour out that may have um, I may have picked up from the background so that I don't contaminate my brush um, and then I can just using my dry bit I can just take it back I just got a little bit too far that way so I just want to take it back off my fairy and there we go so now hopefully this isn't going to ruin my card as I uh, my bit of paper as I pull it back I love revealing. I love this when you've got this nice clean edge. It really suits my uh, my need for clean. And that is going to lift, which is always the way. There you go. That's always the way on video. It will always, always, always ruin. Lift off and, and then get a bit that was a bit tackier. So I'm, I'm going nice and slow with my masking tape. Um, because obviously this is still wet you will wait until yours is dry hopefully before you lift off so that it won't bleed onto your onto your border but hopefully you can see now that we've got shimmer um, and it's a lot more intense on her wings and across this center section where she's sending her where she's sending her shimmer out into the world first thing in the morning because we've got our lovely purple and blue sky going on ready for twilight so what I'll do is I will get this up onto a um, card I'm just going to mat it onto black um, and then onto um, a um, six by four and a half card base um, and I will put this in the picture underneath when I put my list of colours so hopefully you've enjoyed that quickly, quick little demo about landscaping um, using the new Spectrum um, Noir Sparkle pens, um, this really intense glitter with that absolutely gorgeous brush. So there we go and I will see you next time. Um, this has been Sandy for Spectrum.